Hello guys and welcome back to the channel for part number 42 of Let's Play The Sims for the Springston Legacy Challenge. So we are going to go ahead and kind of pick up where we left off. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. This video is definitely late. <laughs> it's like, it's probably going to be up by like six on, 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 uh, I think we're on Saturday, right? Saturday. Jeez, I can't even remember, but it's going to be kind of late just because I had a lot going on today. Um, but I don't know. I'm really excited to jump on into it. I am still extremely bitter and sour over our loss, but I think I think life is going to be just fine. Um, I know some of you wanted me to bring back Zach somehow, some way, or, you know, just kind of pretend it never happened. And, you know, the thing with Lavender, I when she got um, when she got taken away, I do believe was a glitch. And I know everything happens for a reason, but there are some things I just can't deal with. And although I can't necessarily deal with Zach's death, um, I feel like it has it, it's going to it's going to make sense in the end. I don't know. It's weird. It's just weird. But it, it, it's it's what I think. It's how I feel. So uh, Amelia is home and she is hugging on her son here. And I feel like um, Zane has lost a lot of weight. I'm not exactly sure um, what's going on in Amelia and Austin have fallen out of touch and are no longer best friends. That's really, really sad. But I feel like he has been losing weight. Now, I'm not exactly sure. Um, he was never really chunky to begin with. But I feel like he was starting to kind of get chunky. I just, it's just because he doesn't work out or anything. But I think because of his job or... um. His, yeah, because of his job, he, he has actually started to appreciate getting in in shape. Now, as far as Garnet here, she is um, prego, obviously. And I do believe we are just about in our third trimester, so she could literally be giving birth any minute now. Uh, she wants to fight with Amelia May. Um, she and her, Amelia and, and Garnet are just totally bumping heads right now. And I guess it's just because Amelia is looking for someone to blame, which is a complete and utter... Um, shame actually not trying to rhyme on that one but um yeah I, I was thinking you know I wonder if if Garnet has twins like how would you know that would be really uh ironic to be honest it'd be really 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 ironic but I think um I don't know I don't know what I think exactly but I think it'd be kind of interesting so school starts for oh my god it's 6 a.m oh my god I thought it was like I thought it was nighttime I don't I Okay, I don't understand. I totally thought it was nighttime. Anyways, I do want to like kind of give, um, let's see. I want to give Lavender kind of a quick little makeover with her hair at least, not necessarily her whole entire outfit. It is really hot here in Washington. Actually, it's just been kind of hot these last couple of days and my computer needs to like get dusted out and it is a mat. This thing is like 30 freaking pounds, just the tower, like 30, 35. No, I think the case, I think I'm exaggerating. I think the case is like 50 pounds, so I'm not exaggerating. I'm like undercompensating. I don't know. Anyway, just pulling this massive thing out, it's like the size of a server. It's it's a beast, so I really do need to do that because um, it's kind of overheating. Or it's not overheating, but it's getting really hot in there, and it shouldn't. But anyway, I really do like this green color. If you guys want to give me a future suggestions of what color we should do next for laugh, go ahead and just let me know in the comments down below. I mean, this purple looks pretty damn fancy. See, but I, I really like her green right now. Um, not, I mean, okay, it does make her kind of look like a, a Oompa Loompa, but I feel like we haven't really um, gone the distance with it quite yet. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should kind of skip out on this green, or this is the last time I'll do the green. Um, but yeah, just leave me a color. Ooh, I like this color. Ooh, just leave me a color suggestion <gasps> down below what kind of color you think would look good on her next. Um, but for now, we're going to stick with this ugly green. It's, it's hideous. Amelia hates the fact that Lavender changes her hair as much as she does. But again, um, Lavender's original hair color is black. So it's just her style to be different and unique. And there's going to be so many different looks of lavenders that you're going to love, hate, and indifferent. But I personally, see, I like that, actually. That looks really, really pretty. I like it. I don't know. She just has a very unique, different taste. Um, even just playing around with some of these different colors here. She's just, I don't know. She's cool. I like her. Um, this green looks insane. Now she looks like a parrot. A little bit of a cockatiel. All right. Let me see what else we got going around here. Um. 
I did like the uh, the one that we just did. Yeah, I like this on her. It looks very nice for some reason. And she has these beautiful kind of green eyes, which I don't remember Diego having those. Um, if, you, if you remember, let me know in the comments down below. But I, I can't really remember. And her mouth is so tiny that you cannot even see her little dientes or the teeth that she is supposed to have with that lipstick so sad okay uh let's see what colors look good all right so i kind of like that on her i know somebody's not gonna like it but again it's just it's all about um personal preference and this is lavender's preference now when she gets older i do think she's gonna probably get some cosmetic surgery and we'll probably do a video of that um but for now i'm not gonna condone it you know she, she's a teenager she i mean if, if you're young and you want to do that that's totally Totally a business, but um, no, uh, Amelia thinks she's perfect the way she is. So I don't know. We would probably just like give her some more luscious lips. Nothing too crazy, but um, yeah, that is our lavender. Now we got to get her off to school. I really want her to kind of focus in on what she's doing with her life. Become a, you know, a, a, a successful person, I guess you could say. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how she turns out. Now, I know part of the legacy of this legacy specifically, you're supposed to contary, con continue on with whatever family member is of the same, um, the same sex as a person of the founder but literally like i said i'm kind of just going um i'm just kind of going with it i guess and i'm i'm going to continue on the generations as they may so whatever sim has a baby however it happens we're going to continue on these generations i'm not gonna really put any pressure on it at all it's just the main goal is to get um to 10 generations that is the main goal so however that that works out is however it works out i'm actually gonna have amelia sleep like a big girl and um i don't know poor poor garnet is just she is just hurting so bad she's so freaking pregnant um and i think i'm gonna have her go ahead and repair actually let's just replace this and we're gonna take a shower because we are stinky we're gonna take a thoughtful shower. She is, oh, she's still sad about um, Zach and, and still, she's just like pretty much heartbroken and she's gonna be heartbroken for another few hours. And it's really weird that Amelia got over it so fast. But I think, um, what time do you go to work? You go to work in two days. I don't know, let's see. He kind of stinks, but he has lots of energy. Let's take him to the gym. Let's go. Uh, we are going, I don't know what gym we're gonna go to, but let's just, let's just go do it because he needs to kind of bulk up a little bit and i do think we kind of want to see that other girl that we met at the bar but right now he's just kind of taking some time for himself and 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 reflecting over everything that that's happened to him recently which is it's a lot it is a lot to take in um it's just kind of weird you know i i actually think about it a lot and i'm like wow he is not a twin anymore like that's just crazy it is crazy it's it's Really weird how um, their lives can change so differently. Even in the sim, you know, you know what I mean? Mm -mm -mm. But I wanna know, when is summer break starting for you guys? And the reason why I wanna know is because um, I like to know when you all are off. <laughs> Uh, just because actually surprisingly um, in the YouTube world youtubers do better when schools out of out of commission And I don't know I like I like to know these things so I can make sure that I have enough videos up for you guys And and I'm 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 in I'm in the prime zone of when you all are active and things like that So that's why I want to know and also because it's summer freaking vacation and that just excites me and uh, my son's also gonna be off too for the summer so I'm I'm multi reasons for me being excited I don't I and it's weird you wouldn't think I would be excited for my son honey why are you taking a shower you should just go do this you wouldn't think I would be excited for my son to be home from because like actually like you may not understand but like a lot of parents aren't because you know their kids get crazy and whatever and, and rambunctious but I'm actually excited because I don't know you get to do more things and it's more relaxed and chill and you know I don't know I, I'm actually excited for him to be off I don't know it's just me but I know a lot of parents are like, oh, like, summer break. Ah, it's like, dude, it's time to spend with your child. But I get it. Totally. Trust me. After a long weekend, four day weekend, Jennifer's ready to pull her damn hair out. So, all right, Zachary. Oh, you're not Zach. Oh, God. Why? I don't know. But 
He is just, I don't know. He just needs to like take it out. Take it out in this little punching bag here. I like that the texture of this is like that of a real punching bag. But let's see what Chickadee is up to. Uh, Matilda works at 10 p.m. Uh, we, I would really like to spend some time with her, actually. And this guy stole my haircut, but he is a little bit of a cutie, actually. I kind of like him. So I'm going to let our Zane here just continue to powwow it out until he gets kind of exa exhausted, which looks like that's right about now. We're going to let him go take a quick shower and then maybe invite or ask Matilda to hang out or something. I don't know. We could invite her over to our house. Um... But I, w I would really like to just spend some, like, private time with her. And I, I like I said, he wasn't really thinking about being serious with her or anything. But I do think that after, like I said a million times, everything... Are you naked? Oh, I don't mind. After everything that's kind of happened, he... He appreciates things a little more differently. So let's see if we can go and invite her to hang out. Uh, whether or not she'll want to work out, I don't know. But I would like to at least see her before she goes into work today. Which is weird. I've never thought I would have seen Z uh, seen Zane follow uh, freaking a settle down so fast. And there is our girl. She is just gorgeous, so beautiful. He's gonna come down here and brighten up her day. And uh, he does want to kiss her, but I think we it might be a little. No, we've kissed. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to kiss her. Hopefully, she's in a good mood. Um. Maybe I won't go in for the first the first thing that we do, but I do want to kind of get on her good side a little bit. And I think they would be so amazing together. I know she has black hair, uh, but we need to we need to change that. So I mean, I'm not gonna trip out if she has black hair. I really don't care, but I do want to kind of switch it up a little bit and maybe give her something else, like maybe a red or or something like that. I think red would be really nice. Why can't you kiss the girl? I don't understand. Oh, there you go, Zane. Oh, there you go. They are such a freaking cute damn couple. It makes me it makes me sick how amazing they are together. Like I actually really like them together a lot. Uh let me see if we can go somewhere a little more secluded. Um is there any like park benches or anything? Ooh, this looks like a sled. Wow, there's like so many things like look at this little island over here i love this we would probably propose right there in the middle of that i would love to i mean i'm not gonna think about proposal because you know how big that went the last time but i would like to go and have a little moment with matilda i think i think if we continue to woo her the right way we could probably have a, a relationship with her like a real one I don't know. I just I just want to see how it goes. <gasps> is he thinking about engagements and stuff? But he is thinking he would like to get to know her a little bit better. So, see, he is, like, thinking about, you know, being a little more a little more serious with her. And I like her. There's something about this girl that Jen just likes. And when Jen likes the girl, Jen likes the girl. And, yes, I am beaten on my chest like a damn gorilla. Mm -hmm. Feeling it right now. What the hell's going on over here? Uh, all I saw was hello. Do, 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 do. <whistles> all the girls go. <whistles> um, well, Tabitha, the face may need a little work, but girl, you got it from the face. The neck. Damn, I'm just saying. <laughs> this hair, though, is like, damn. I mean, she is actually like a fine piece, but she's a little bit older, a little bit older and a little more wise and mature. And I don't think that we are into all of that. But keeping our eyes on the prize, um, Matilda is actually um, an adult and Zane is a young adult, even though Matilda does not look like it. Now, if for any reason, Matilda gets old all of a sudden. We'll fix it. But I don't know if... Um, you know, Mrs. Springston would appreciate Zane dating an older woman. Although I do think that um, it'd be kind of, I don't know, it'd be kind of nice to like have her meet my mom. But I don't know if he's ready for that. See, that's why we can't get into everything that's, that's just, we can't just yet. We just can't. So I'm going to spend a couple more minutes with her. I'm going to whisper seductively. I'm really going to try to get to know her like a lot and then just kind of become really good friends with her. And then maybe from there, we'll go ahead and see what this relation could be. Um, I don't know what you're thinking about hearts and underpants, but I'm not here to judge you. Uh, but I do, I do feel like he really does have a connection with her. And I don't remember. Have they slept together or not? I can't see. I can't remember. 
Uh, they may have, but I don't. I don't. Know, I don't. I. I think they did. I think they did. Or they were going to and they didn't. I don't know. Something like that. Whatever. But we're just going to continue to get to be on her good side here and uh, get to know her a little bit. Do we have any... Do we know anything about Matilda? We know she's childish, so she'd probably be a good mom. And she's a little bit of a goofball. And who knows? Maybe we'll go and surprise her tonight. I don't I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to let her go because I do know that Garnet is probably going to have this baby any time now so i'm gonna give her a hug because it's something that we want to do and from there we'll go ahead and head on home and uh we'll see how that all plays out there okay uh, uh, all right maybe i'll maybe i'll flirt with you just a little bit and then uh, then i'll go then i'll go for sure all right let's do a little flirtation a little flirtation all right all right so let's go ahead and have him head home now because he could probably be here just about all day loving on her. I could see it. All right, cool. Um, I hope she has this baby in this part, Garnet, but I'm not 122% sure. Um, Because sometimes wait, the pregnancies really do vary. Like I've had a sim pregnant for like three days after the question mark showed up or something. I don't know. But I literally thought the baby was like stuck inside her or something because I couldn't understand why this chick wasn't having this baby because I mean, I did everything. I had the Sims of Woo. I mean, I did everything you would do in real life. I had the Woohoo consistently. I did everything and nothing. Like I even scared this girl to death. You know, just, oh my God, that's depressing. Oh, she's sitting there by herself eating her. Oh my God. And Garnet is going to cry it out. She's still just devastated. Look at the poor girl. Just devastated. Seriously. And Zane, he can't handle all that. So he's going to try to go and uh, cheer her up a little bit because he knows how his mom can be. And um, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to try to, like, make her feel better. I'm going to give her a heartfelt compliment. Now, would he ever like no? because that's not his style, but he is going to try to, you know, be there as much as he can be for for his for his brother you know what I mean like at the end of the day this is his nephew or I hope it is <laughs> or um you know his his niece and he's going to try to support her through the rest of this pregnancy as much as possible because that was what his brother would want him to do and you know she doesn't have anybody like right now she feels like the world's against her and they are a lot of you are even against her but i don't really think it was her fault like i was mad at her and i was hurting but just imagine how she feels you know the guilt the weight on her shoulders <gasps> did i just tell him no 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 see i got i got got to chatting and all of a sudden i complimented her and now she probably thinks i'm a dog oops that was an accident but anyways um you know i'm just gonna be there for her as a friend or as whatever I can be at this point, but nothing too crazy. So, um, here is lavender. All right, Amelia, I'm going to actually have you go work on all oh, this is lavender's painting. We're going to put this in our inventory and we're going to get her to go ahead and do a little bit of a little bit of painting as well. Now I'm just literally sitting on my caboose waiting for this baby to happen. Um, she's feeling really, 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 really tense right now. And I'm not exactly certain why she wants to have some fun in her life. So I guess if we go ahead and watch, we should get a bigger TV because we have the money now. We probably just need a bigger freaking house in general. But we, when we expanded this part, um, I mean, could we, we could do some house shopping. How much money do we have exactly? If I was to transfer everything from here to here. Because you know what? Amelia really does deserve a nicer house. Like, she kind of does. So let's do a little transfer from this one to this one and we're gonna transfer everything but three grand so we're gonna do like fifteen thousand right now and i want to make sure that i keep everything that we care about so like i'm gonna put this in my inventory now where's the picture of the kids because that's kind of like this or the picture of zane and zach together that was kind of a big one I don't really know where it went or where I freaking put the damn thing. Ah, no. I don't see it, you guys. That doesn't mean it's not here, though, unfortunately. I really like her room, but we need to get a bigger place because the baby is coming and the baby is not going to fit in 
Where is the damn picture? The baby's not gonna fit in here. And this painting we made for um, Zane and Zach, so we'll keep that. Now, if you see it, let me know, but I don't think I actually have the damn painting. And I know it's not here, because we had five. So, I don't know. I really don't want to tell you guys. I guess we're just gonna have to keep these blurry ones. Do we have any that aren't blurry? What the flying crap is, oh, there it is. <gasps> okay, so put that in our inventory, perfect. All right, so sweet, okay. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and browse the gallery. We got 21 plus, so if I was to go ahead and just bulldoze this lot, just wipe it all down, there we go. We got the Sims here. And we're on an empty lot. We have 61,000. You know what? I am very proud of Miss Amelia May because there was a point in time and you all got, if you've been following this series for that long, you know that point in time. I have 100 new followers. Holy guacamole. Well, thank you. Ah, thank you. That's awesome. Oh my God, that's crazy. Um, but anything, anyways, what did I say? But you all remember, there was a time like I literally thought she was gonna have to live with somebody because I didn't think we were gonna be able to do it. And I can't even believe I doubted her. How can I doubt her? I don't know. I just didn't think she could handle it. But now look at us. We've got all this money and we are going to hopefully get a much nicer place. Um, and I'm excited for that. I really am. So I'm going to go ahead and down, uh, look at the downloads and, and, and see what's kind of going around here. I mean, I'm sure there's better houses that aren't like po super popular, but, um, you know, I do want a, okay, I need at least a four bedroom, right? Because Amelia, I'm counting on my fingers right now. Amelia, Zane, Lavender. Okay, so like at least a four bedroom, which is kind of what we just had, but um, it's a three bedroom. But mm, excuse me, but um, yeah, I don't know what I was saying, but I just I just want something different. I guess is what I'm trying to go with. I don't know what would be more like Amelia's style or anything, but um. I actually really like that one. That one's really, 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 really pretty. Uh, let me see here. This one's really nice by Simlinx, but I don't know how many. It's like a f flat one. It's rusted roots. Gosh, I love it. Suburban family home. This one's really, really nice. Maybe we can fit. Ooh, I like this. There's one, two, three. So there's only three bedrooms, but maybe we can fit in another, another bedroom. Who's this by? Maggot wig. I don't know. Let's try it. Oh, that is way expensive, though. We may not be able to... Uh, what? We have the money for the furnished version of this home? Okay, well... Oh, insignificant. You lied to me. You lied to me. No! Okay, well, then get me out of here, then. I won't, I won't pick it. I'll get something else. Jesus. Well, can I do it without it being furnished? Okay, unfurnished, I guess. Well, that... Oh, I don't like it that much. Doesn't even have freaking another bedroom. Forget about it. All right, bear with me here. We're gonna look a little more. Um, there's some Creek View condominiums. I just wish I could specify by how many bedrooms I needed. Okay, let, ooh, modern family suburban, five bedrooms. I am not sure if I like this though. Uh, let's go take a peek at it. Um, this one's by Honey Bear One Two Three. So. Let's do the furnished version. We can't afford it. So we'll do the unfurnished version, whatever. But we'll at least look at it because we have 29 grand to like furnish this house. So I don't know if it's really our style or what, but we are going to look at it. Um, you know, I actually, I actually do kind of, kind of like it. It's weird because, and, uh, and I think that's why I like it so much because it is different, but I don't know if it fits them. I mean, it kind of does because it's like, you know, kind of darkish. I, I, I think I like it. I think I do. I, I think. I, I just am not sure. Um, okay, so like this would be like the living room. See, that's why I want like a furnished home now, because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I think. Okay. Uh, I, I just need like five grand more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to probably have Amelia today. Go down and um, we're just going to get something kind of small right now and literally put it here so that we have, okay, no, because I just need a couple more grand. And if I have her go to work, like right now, she could probably earn some money. 
So she needs some fun in her life, but I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave everybody here homeless for right now. It's so weird. But we're going to go travel and get some damn cash. Like, I guess I could just travel, uh, do the last $500, 5000 and get it furnished. I could. All right, so let's just do that then. We'll, oh no, it's only, crap. Okay. Ah, so much indecisiveness. I need everybody to come with me. <laughs> and we need to go. We need to go right now i'm gonna take them all actually i'm just like trying to think about it. i'm like i'm gonna take everybody to come with me because like at this point we have no there's like nothing here so at least at our uh, our building or whatever our gallery we're able to um let people like get some of their needs in and stuff like that so let's see what else we got going on here opal and tara tara's old now you guys Ah, that's so crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, who else do we need? I mean, I really don't care about Garnet so much, but I mean, I'm gonna take her anyway, I guess. So let's go to the Galleria and um, try to earn some damn Fedias because we are, we be broke. <laughs> like really, we are so broke right now. It's like not even, not even funny. Um, okay, why can't lavender come that doesn't make any sense but we're gonna play for like a couple more minutes probably like four more minutes here um yeah we'll, we'll give it a go we'll give it a try ah <sighs> do 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 i just don't think i have a lot of stuff to sell that's the only bummer but um yeah i don't have a lot but I'm, I'm gonna try so let me go and open up the store i actually really really like the way that this looks it's it's a little more darker but i, I like it and hopefully, you know, everybody will help out and be able to um, help push our merchandise even farther and end up, you know, end up getting some serious cash. She's going to resume this painting here and uh, hopefully we'll be able to put that up as well. A store is open for business. Yes, we know this already. See, everyone's coming in eating. I mean, we just we don't have a house right now. And I think Garnet is stinky. Yeah, she is. See, this is why this is awesome. And then where's Lavender at? She's uh gonna hug zane and look who's here christian don't know who this is but i know that lavender definitely needs to work on her damn homework for sure so we'll have her do that as well and uh, amelia is finishing up this painting which is pretty cool i think she's about done there's bella surprise surprise and look we're finishing the painting of bella basically wearing her little um jailbird suit so we'll earn some money off that matilda's here no way! Oh my god, come over here and like give your woman some eleven. We could actually live here, you guys, if we really wanted to. We could, but I just couldn't imagine like living here. I don't know, that would be kind of weird too. We would have to put like a room upstairs. But with the baby and stuff, that just isn't really all that possible. I don't think right now anyways. So come on, girlfriend, finish up what you're doing, because you're taking a long damn time. So let's go. Let go. Okay. Um, anybody wanna buy anything yet? No? Okay. What are you doing? She's so freaking cute. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Amelia just finished a masterpiece. Holy crap, look at this, how much this is worth. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna name this one? This one's like Orange is the New Black. I love this so much. I like wanna create a freaking copy. So bad. I'm gonna frame the canvas and call, I don't know, what should we name this painting? I'm so serious, like I don't know if we're gonna sell it yet, but uh, <laughs> what should we name it? We need to name this something because this is just too good. Uh, I don't know. I have no freaking idea quite yet, but I will figure it out for sure. So let's see. Who's this hottie pants? Demarcus Lavender, your boyfriend's here. Oh, you're going to the bathroom. Go over here. At least he has brown hair, right? I know. It's like finally one sin that doesn't have some black damn hair. He's so cute. I'm going to have uh, Lavender come over here and... um. Give him a high five. She's a little awkward. So the first thing that she would do is give him a high five. We're going to say, hey, go with it, though. Go with it, though. Just just, just go with it. I don't know why, but all my sims are attracted to um, your belly button looks really funny. Uh, your belly looks funny, not your belly button. But uh, all my sims are like attracted to dark sims. Or maybe it's just me. Who knows? All right, so let's get Amelia to work on something else. Uh, she's going to do a confident painting as well. Um, I don't like the paint from reference. Looks like a really old, like early or like more like late 1990s um picture like back in the day when uh, computer graphics were really really bad i don't know uh looks like lavender has learned that the marcus is a high school oh my god we are 
Oh, we need to bring up this customer. Um, a high school something or other. I don't know. But what is this? Looks like a little Hello... Oh, no. It's definitely not a Hello Kitty thing. All right. So let's just do this... Um, do this transaction really quick. And see how much money we actually earn from it. And I'm probably going to end up to end this part here. But I'm having like, a lot of fun. That is for sure. Um, and I think Lavender may have the hots for Demarcus. But I'm not 100% certain. I don't know. Uh, looks like Wanda just bought a painting for 1400 Yes, 1400 So we're getting there. We've got about... Five grand in the bank, so we probably have enough now, I guess you could say, to, like, be able to buy that house. But Amelia, oh, my God, this is all just for the struggle. You know what I mean? Like, I love her. I admire her, her so freaking much right now. Uh, but we are going to go and um, set this one for sale. Let's do one more confident painting, and then we'll end up having her... Um, Hopefully sell a couple more and close out for the night. But in the comments down below, let's just move this. This doesn't look that good. In the comments down below, uh, let me know what we should name this painting. I thought we were going to have the baby in this part, but it doesn't look like we are. She is literally holding on to that little muffin for dear life. And uh, yeah, guys. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go on and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And as usual, I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.